Maxwell equations in integral form and differential form. First, you want to know some technical terms while studying the Maxwell's law in the differential form. First one is this symbol. This is divergence operator. divergence operator next one is dou by dou t this is partial partial derivative and third one is b this is magnetic intensity fourth one is e which is electric field this is j current density yes Next one is, these are the terms while doing the Maxwell equation in differential form. These are the important terms. Next one is, some theorems, important theorems, two theorems. One is, Stokes theorem and another one is divergence theorem. What is Stokes theorem? This is the formula double integral divergence operator cross V dot d a which is equal to closed integral of v vector dot dp this is the stroke's theorem so this theorem is applicable by converting differentiate form in the integral form for gas law in electricity and magnetism so next one is divergence theorem what is divergence theorem that is triple integral 1 2 3 divergence operator dot v into d cube r which is equal to vector double of close integral v vector dot d a vector this is for Faraday's Faraday's law and second one is Ampere Maxwell law first law okay first write the differential form of the gas law what is the differential form of the gas law? Divergence operator dot E vector which is equal to current density by epsilon naught. This is gas law in electricity. So take triple integral.
b vector which is equal to triple integral d cube or which is divergence theorem so what will be the integral of this electric field so integral e vector dot d a vector is equal to according to divergence theorem this is constant so sum of charge density is current so q by epsilon naught this is the integral form of the gas law so next one is magnetism gas law in magnetism so what is this divergence operator dot b vector is equal to zero what is this no monopole taking divergence theorem equal to d cube uh, which is a divergence theorem which is equal to zero what is this b so what is b vector dot d a vector which is equal to zero this is called gas law in magnetism divergence operator cross e vector which is equal to negative times of partial derivative of b with respect to t so applying stokes theorem stokes theorem taking double integral on both sides v vector dot e vector into da which is equal to the now see we can apply the leblai's rule what is leblai's rule integral dx which is equal to d of dt of integral do by do t this is called leblai's rule leblai's rule by applying the leblai's rule there is a minus here minus d by dt of integral b here a is here so a so what is magnetic flux phi b which is equal to b vector dot a vector so applying this theorem so what will be this became closed integral of e vector dot d a vector which is equal to minus d phi by dt what is this this epsilon that is change in magnetic flux will cause us emf this is called faraday's law of electro magnetic induction ampere maxwell la what is the differential form this divergence operator cross b vector this is equal to mu not j what is j current density plus 1 by c square into do e vector by do t so applying stokes theorem dot b vector which is equal to mu not is constant so so take integral on j vector dot 1 by c square apply leblai's rule d by dt of integral e vector dot d a vector so what is will this b so b vector dot dl vector 
which is equal to mu naught. What is this? Is J is current density. Sum of the current density will be equal to current flows in the conductor. So I plus one by c square here d by dt d by dt electric electric field into area electric flux this is ampere maxwell circuit delta so the first equation number 1 the first one is gauss law in electrostatics gauss law in electrostatics the integral form is closed integral P vector dot D A vector which is equal to Q enclosed by epsilon naught. This is the integral form. Now the differential form of the Gauss law is divergence operator cross E vector which is equal to current density by epsilon naught. And the second equation Gauss law in magnetism magnetism so what is this the closed integral of B vector dot da vector is equal to zero that is no mono pole this is the gauss law in magnetism this is the integral form what is the differential form divergence operator dot d vector equal to zero this is the gauss law in magnetism third law Faraday's law of electro electromagnetic induction. What is the integral for change in magnetic flux? So minus d phi by dt which is equal to epsilon this is the change in magnetic flux yields change in magnetic flux gives emf induced in the circuit and its equation the differential form is divergence operator cross e vector equal to minus do v by do t this is the differential form and last equation is ampere maxwell circuit law so ampere maxwell circuit law what is this integral form integral b vector dot dl vector which is equal to mu naught i plus 1 by c square d phi e by dt what is its differential form divergence operator cross b vector which is equal to mu times of current density plus 1 by c square 
partial of e maxwell's equation in both integral and differential form hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like comment and share thank you